Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode number 216. As always, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also check out the Code Karate Patreon page. Today we'll be talking about the Image Widget Crop Module. and It's essentially a really easy way to allow your content editors on your website to be able to crop an image. So rather than just having to rely on your image style, you can actually set it up so they can choose to crop it. So let's take a look. So we're on the image widget crop page on the drupal.org website and you can see there are some requirements for the image widget crop module. So you'll need to make sure you get those installed. Again, if you use Composer, it makes it very easy. It'll download a lot of these requirements for you. So you can just turn the module on. You're gonna want to make sure you have the image widget crop module enabled. Just turn that on. And there's actually a few steps you have to do to get this set up. So let's go ahead and look at the image styles. And you can notice that we have a crop thumbnail that's here. We also have just the normal large image style. And we could take a look at those and see what they do. But what we want to do is we need to come into our media and look at crop types. We're going to need to add a crop type. So you can set up different crop types that you want to use and you can have different settings on those crop types. So I'm just going to call this a test crop. You could call this whatever you want, especially if you're just getting started with it. You can give it a description, but then you need to set an aspect ratio. So this is just your width to height aspect ratio. So 16 by 9 if you want widescreen or if you want it to be just a perfect square, we can just do one to one. You have soft limits and hard limits. And what image widget crop allows you to do is it allows you to set those crops so you can change the size. So you can drag a little handle, just like you're resizing an image, but you're just resizing the crop. The soft limit will give you a warning, basically saying, hey, you're getting a little too small. And the hard limit will actually block you, so you can't actually go any lower. So if we wanted to, we could set a soft limit at, let's say, 360 by 360. And you could do the hard limit at, you know, if you wanted to do just 300 by 300. You could change these to whatever you want. But again, it's using the same aspect ratio. So what this will say is if we get down to 360 by 360, it's going to give us a message saying, hey, you're getting too small. If you get any further than that and you get down to 300, it'll just stop you. It won't let you go any smaller than that. So I'm going to save the crop type there. And you'll notice you can add multiple different crop types. And why you might want to do that is if you have different types of images on your site and they're different sizes and you want to allow editors to change the size, but you have different requirements for the different sizes of images. The next step, once we have the crop type, is we need to go back to our image style. And let's go ahead and look at this large one here and we need to add in this crop. You can see that I have a you know, little file system permission here, but it should still work. We're gonna look for the one that says manual crop. And we're gonna wanna add that. And you're gonna wanna select the crop type that you created. Again, this will list any crop types that you've created. And you want your manual crop to come before any other uh, image style uh, operations. So what this means is it'll ask for the manual crop first, and then depending on how the crop works, it will run any of these other things. So it'll make sure it scales it. And so I may not want it to actually scale. I may want it to, uh, I, so this would actually scale it down, but it's not going to scale it up. So if I selected a smaller area, it's not going to upscale that. I could change that if I wanted to, but I don't, of course, want the image to get blurred or distorted. So I'll just leave that and we'll see how this works. The last step, we have to go to our content type. And by going to the content type, we're able to essentially turn on this image widget crop functionality. If we go to the manage form display, and we look for our image field here. We want to change this from image to image widget crop. And this way when they're editing or adding content, they can use that. We're going to need to check this settings here. 
you can have some settings over here that you can change. You can do the preview image style, the crop preview image style, and you can select your crop type. And we're going to go ahead and change this to large. This is the preview image while editing the content. Let's try that. And we'll go ahead and click Save. And let's see how that looks. So if I go back to just the main page, you can see I have an article here with a screenshot on it or an image. And I want to be able to crop that to a specific part. So I come down into here and you'll see it's just a normal image field like you'd expect, but there's a crop image option. And you can see it has a one to one aspect ratio, but I can change this crop. I can move it if I want to focus over here on this side of the screen or over here, or if I want to, let's say, focus on just this section right here, I can do that. Just select what I want. You'll notice if I get too small, it starts to turn red and you'll see a message that says soft limit reached. If I try to go any smaller, you'll see that it actually won't let me go all the way uh, to nothing. You go, it stops it at 300 by 300. So let's select these area we want. If we click reset, it will go ahead and reset the box for us just to make it easier. Select an area we want, click save. And our, as you can see, the image has now been cropped. So now I'm able to actually kind of zoom in on that portion of that image. So this is a very good way to easily crop images on your site. This works really well if you have, if you want you know, portrait images and, you're, and someone uploads a, a square image or a landscape image, you can actually set the aspect ratio and allow them to choose what area of that image they'd like to crop. So there's a lot more you can do with this. This is simply just the introduction. The important thing to, re to remember is first you have to create your crop type and you can have multiple different crop types for different types of images. Then you'll need to make sure you add that manual crop step to your image style and you want that to go above any in front of any of the other operations. So you want to drag it up and then you need to go into the manage form display on your content type make sure to select your image widget crop. That's all we're going to do today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to check out CodeKarate.com, check out the Patreon page, and we'll see you next time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. Goodbye.